Begin with developing news in Salt Lake County, a story we first told you about on KSL's Live at 5. News specialist Nicole Val getting more information about a 17-year-old veteran prosecutor with the Salt Lake County District Attorney's Office who was found dead early yesterday morning. Nicole? Salt Lake City Police confirms with me that Chad Platt, a prosecutor with the Salt Lake County District Attorney's Office, jumped from a building downtown yesterday morning around 5 a.m. Platt lives right here behind me, and just over an hour ago, I spoke with one of his next-door neighbors just outside of his home. She tells me on Friday morning around 6 a.m., she saw a heavy police presence here. About 15 officers in unmarked cars and rifles drawn forcefully enter his home. She says for hours, she watched as agents removed a number of items from his house. When she said she went to talk to one of them, this is what they told her. They said they were serving a search warrant, but they couldn't give me any information. Um, his patch did say internet crimes. She tells me she saw internet crimes agents in and out of his home for most of the morning into the afternoon on Friday. She said they were taking out large bags of evidence, also taking photographs, pictures inside and outside of Platt's home. Now, I just got this statement from Salt Lake County District Attorney Sim Gill. He says, quote, Chad was a valued colleague and friend. We were heartbroken to learn of his death yesterday morning. It would be highly inappropriate and disrespectful to both him and his family to speculate on whatever Chad may or may not have been thinking. Our thoughts are with his family at this difficult time. He will be greatly missed by our office. Now, I did reach out to the Utah Attorney General's office, which operates the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. They told me at this time they are not willing to comment. I will be continuing to dig into the details of this story. I will have a full report tonight on KSL 5 News at 10. For now, in Salt Lake City, Nicole Vowell, KSL 5 News. Thanks, Nicole.